Good day, it's Konstantin. Welcome to my Logic Pro X complete tutorial series. In these videos, we will cover almost everything about Logic. Now this will be a long intro, you don't have to watch it, it's just my opinion on why you should learn Logic, the pros, the cons and all of that. So you can skip that if you want and just move on to the next video. Now, even though this is a complete beginner series, it is not entirely a complete beginner in music production series. So I will assume that you have the super basic knowledge of what an audio track is, what a MIDI track is, and the basic pr principles of sound, for example, which we'll need to when, we, when it comes to editing. Now, if you don't, I suggest you take a look at this first and then continue with the series, as it might get slightly confusing at times. Now, other things, such, such, such as, let's say, templates, for example, I will explain, but not in extreme detail. Now, if you are learning how to use your first DAW, or you are migrating for another DAW, DAW means Digital Audio Workstation, by the way, then these series are ideal for you. If you are an experienced user, and you want to freshen up your skills, or looking for something specific, you can always look at the timestamps and go to the section that you want. Now, what is the best DAW? Hands down, the best DAW is the one you know best. Now, this may sound like an edgy answer, but it's true. There is nothing that you can do in Cubase that you can't do in Logic or Pro Tools. It is just that things are done a bit differently. And of course, certain DAWs will do certain things easier. Now, the reason I'm telling you this in a Logic tutorial is because there is a learning curve. You will need to spend quite a bit of time to master this software, and sometimes you might need something else. If you're an assistant to a composer or a producer, for example, it is more convenient to know the software they are using. If you're working at a commercial studio, you definitely need to know your way around Pro Tools. So invest your time wisely, because it will take a bit to be extremely proficient and fluent in any of this software. Cons of Logic Pro X now, some of the things that I don't personally like about Logic are that it's not cross-platform. I'm a PC guy and I have to have an extra Apple computer just for music production because I use Logic a lot and I couldn't choose another DAW while I was at uni because that is what we had to use. Now, one of the most annoying things in Logic are the graphics. They're absolutely terrible. <laughs> Sometimes you can't even tell where you need to edit. And I don't understand why they, don't, they are not fixing that with all these updates. Now, pros of Logic Pro X. Best bang for your buck. You get a full version DAW that updates often for just £175. That is a ridiculous price for everything you get. A huge library of sounds, Apple loops and decent plugins. It even has a drum replacement plugin, while in Pro Tools, that is subscription based and you have to pay £30 a month and you have to have an iLog of course, you don't get such a stock plugin. And Ableton is at £539 for the full version. Now apologies for the long intro, but I think I had to get these things out of the way and tell you my honest non-biased opinion. Now if you're still up for learning logic, let's dive into it. <laughs> 